I need a shed. This one might be a little overkill. So is that price. Oh my goodness. So I was thinking, you know, I'd build me a little 10 by 12 ish shed. So I came out here to look and get some inspiration and didn't realize how ridiculously expensive. Look at this. Four thousand dollars. This thing's barely tall enough to stand in. Although this is a good quality. It's real two by four, 16 inch centers. I've seen a bunch of these that are two by threes on 24 inch. So I mean, at least this is well built shed, but $4,000 for this little thing. So in my city, they have a 200 square foot limit on the shed you can build in your backyard without a permit. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna go the full kit and caboodle to build me a 12 by 16 shed, which is what this is. Um, that's a little less than 200 square feet, but right at the maximum. This is pretty nice. Um, but I'd like to have an extra tall roof so I can build a loft and build like a little clubhouse, treehouse thing for my kid. So looking for inspiration like I say six thousand dollars six thousand dollars that's crazy I'm thinking I could do it for less than half of that and have a bigger shed taller shed 12 by 16 uh so I guess if you keep watching you're gonna get to see a dummy try and build a shed <laughs> All right, we're gonna build us a big old shed. But it's 109 degrees today. I'm sweating to death. And I didn't want to wear a shirt. Anyway, so what I've done is leveled it out. You can't really tell, but there's quite a grade here. Went from these, whatever that is, four inch block to a one inch block to no block. Pressure treated lumber. Those scabs are terrible. I know, don't, don't grill me on it too bad. Anyway, got the land leveled out. Got treated four by fours down. And now we're starting on our floor joists. So I'm gonna put this in time-lapse mode and uh, y'all can watch me sweat to death. Did I miss two of these things? I didn't even put. What the heck? You're supposed to be helping me out, man. All right, so got all our floor joists in. Uh, got it squared up. I'm gonna start laying down flooring and get it nailed down. And then we'll build some thingamabobbers on there and then some 
sides and then this side and then uh, yeah it's so hot let's get back to building simple I guess Just throw one there the ends with a pencil so we can cut them off flat. Stack it up. Let's keep going.
due to the high likelihood of this going horribly wrong, we'll record it in real time.
All right, let's start getting these rafters up. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but I nailed a board up or screwed a board up there to kind of catch the rafter. I got the rafter put up here upside down so I can kind of flip it up against that. And then we'll nail in both sides. Uh, and then got some of those uh, hurricane mounting plate things. We'll throw one of those on both sides. And then uh, start going down the way making them. Here we go! Well, this might be fun, so we'll do it in real time. Again, don't do as I do. This is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. So dumb.
we do? This is not a step. Entertainment purposes only. Stay. 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 This is not the right way to do this. I make it. I make it. I made it. I'm still alive. I don't know how. Oh God. I don't want to play no more. I just want to go home. Jesus. Crimmy. Christ. Sickles. That's right, baby. Untrained, unprofessional.
So I got the ADD and can't finish one project completely before starting another. So we're gonna start on putting a like clubhouse loft up here. It's gonna be a rock wall that you have to climb up to to get in there. I think it's gonna be cool. So in here, we're gonna build our platform two by sixes, which might be a little, it's little kids, they'll be fine. So we're gonna do, uh, it's gonna go all the way across, four foot deep. So we're gonna put up our joists here. One, two, three, four. And then lay plywood on it. And then a wall or something. And then we're gonna have to do the rocks. And then a door. And then we'll figure it out from there. It's gonna be cool! So we're gonna frame out this uh, for a door, or I guess big doors. So I got my two by six header here. It's probably should have been a two by eight header. It's a shed, it'll be all right, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna get some jack studs put up. Whoop, whoop, get that smashed up in there and bolted in and then uh, I guess keep working. Huh. <laughs>
right, so here's my shed. Ah, uh, it's not all the way complete. I have to do trim. I gotta build doors, door for the little clubhouse there. Backside. But um, we had a birthday party come up, so I had to kind of hide a bunch of crap in here before it was completely finished. But this thing is a monster. I started putting some spray foam in all the edges just to make sure they're sealed well. Keep bugs out if I ever, you know, close this thing in better. The, the you know, uh, not very well done. I had to throw in a bunch of insulation into the boys' little clubhouse there so uh, they didn't bake in the sun uh, during a birthday party. So all that's going to get ripped out and redone better and better walls put in and, and then i think i'm gonna put a window here so they can see into here and then open it for ventilation and then i'm probably gonna find a small window unit ac and forever install it into the wall there so the boys can have air conditioning but anyway here it is um i tell you it's a lot of projects to take on all by yourself if you got a friend i would enlist their help this was rough especially that tall roof that roof i didn't think when i first started trying to roof it put shingles on it i didn't think i was going to be able to get it done because that dog is ridiculous because it was so steep i couldn't get on there and then I, luckily i was able to find some roof jacks that i could use to uh put boards up kind of layer my way up there i mean Y'all should see it in the video. Um, what else? What else? Anyway, uh, all materials in. It cost me a little less than $2,000. Uh, not counting tools, of course. I did buy a new nail gun. That siding nail gun. So I could put the siding up. That was awesome. Just go through it quick. Anyway, uh, I can't think of anything else to say about it. It's big. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more videos of me building a door for this and then I want to put uh, shelving in this whole side is gonna be a, I guess a bench and then over here we're gonna hang bicycles and then big tools anyway start getting everything put in um, and then maybe a loft over here just to store more junk I don't know if y'all got questions put them down in the comments uh, like, share, subscribe, like everybody says. It'd be awesome if I could be a YouTuber for a living. But now I can get my garage cleaned out and get started on my fun projects like that motorcycle and the old Corvette, things like that that y'all might have seen in the background of some of these. But anyway, okay, a few things I just want to mention. Again, I'm not a professional. This is the biggest structure I've ever built by myself from the ground up. I've done a lot of remodels built dog houses chicken coop stuff like that um so there are things i forgot to do there are things i did a little wrong there's things i would change like the worst ones are top plates that i didn't cross over that drives me nuts makes me angry uh things i would have bought different like this flooring i didn't need to buy the giant tongue and groove flooring i could have bought something you know a third of the price um hmm but anyway, like I say, I'm not a professional. This isn't a tutorial as much as it's just, you know, kind of fun to document it. Um, and you know, hopefully it serves as some kind of motivation or inspiration for somebody out there to try and do something yourself. I mean, this took me, uh, I'd say probably 40 hours total. I was planning on doing it over a long three day weekend, um, but it started raining. Uh, you can see in some of the videos it's pouring rain. And then I just had you know, a couple hours a day, an hour or two here or there that I was able to work on it. Uh, so I ended up taking a little over two weeks to finish it. Um, but anyway, yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, it's crazy the sense of accomplishment you get taking on a giant project like this. Seems kind of almost insurmountable when you begin. That it's just gonna be so much work and take so long, but it, if you just stick to it, it goes by quicker than you think. And then you got something awesome like this. I mean, this is gonna let me 
clean out my garage so I can dedicate that just for vehicles and and be able to work on my stuff out of the sun because this Texas heat is ridiculous um, but anyways yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed the video um, like I said y'all have fun out there